Yo, what's going on guys? DJ Hess here, CollectiveKicks.com. Wanted to bring you guys a video and show you guys uh, the KD7s, uh, known as the What the KDs, and then I will have an on-foot section of these at the end of the video. I also have the 6s out here for competitive reasons, but if you guys don't know what this series is all about, uh, I know it looks like a crazy hodgepodge of uh, sneakers or colors and stuff, and it really that's what it is, and it's kind of a, a hodgepodge of colorways from all of the different KD releases through the year. And it seems to be now for the last handful of years that at the end of the year, the last released pair of sneakers for that model is the what the KD or what the LeBron or whatever it might be. So this was the last colorway as far as I remember for the KDs before they dropped the KD7s. And then this one is the last color that, colorway of the KD7s before they dropped the KD8s. Um, so it kind of has like, again, a hodgepodge of all of the different um, releases from the previous uh, or from, from that model in particular. And so there's a whole bunch of stuff that you'll see that are different. And each shoe is 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 completely unique and has its own uh, design. And so it looks completely different. So that's definitely what that is about. You can even see on the soles. And that's something that they stayed consistent with uh, with the sixes as well. If you guys remember these ones last year. And uh, just all the various different prints. Two soles. Little logos from different models. Totally different shoes. And I really think that... I know that th these are like a hit or a miss, um, but I just think it's a fun, fun culmination of stuff. I just don't know about the price points. That's the part that I think is the most disturbing uh, because these things were 200 retail. So I'll show you guys the box. Uh, these were 200 retail and this was the sevens and this is the sixes over here. Look at that price. Magical 150. So... There's a $50 price increase, and that, that to me is like, you know what, guys, like, that's just a little bit extreme, if you ask me. It's the same model, and maybe it's because this is an SE. Um, it's considered a, uh, yeah, it's an SE, so it's like, maybe it's just a little, little bit more expensive. But when you think about it, it's pretty much a KD7, and you're paying, um, you're paying $200 for something that, that shouldn't be that high. Uh, that's a pretty big markup, if you ask me. But I don't know. It is what it is. I mean, the KD7 was a markup. The KD8s, I think, are 180 or 185 or something like that. So price points are getting crazy, guys. I'm not sure. And I mean, I like the shoe for sure. I'm happy I got them, but I'm not happy with the price increase. I think these ones should have been, um, if last year's were 150, these ones should be 175, the max. 200 was just crazy. But I do like what we have. It, I like the, the crazy, crazy vibrance of these. These kind of remind me of like, just the 80s, I guess, or something like that because of this the super neons everywhere from all of the, the different shoes. I don't know all of the different models. I'm not going to pretend to know all the different models and, and, and whatnot from the underlays and the laces and everything else. You can see the laces are the same on both of them. But the, the fly wire is different on each pair. Um, the uh, the straps uh, on pearls on this side. And then this is the all-star on this side. And then you can see chromed out KD logo. On the tongue and then you have I think that the global whatever I think I don't remember what that one is on the tongue on this one so you could just see it there's a whole bunch of just randomness and look I mean just the, that crazy little print underneath just slightly different you can see the Nike swooshes are different patterns as well midsoles let's do a midsole look yeah blue and then black on the midsole and then it comes down here a little extra design different color airbags and then the, this whole area this is like a pearlescent kind of on this one and then this one's black and then this whole panel back here is different like you have like kind of a, a crazy print here versus this one so I mean it's just every little step of the way it's just different on the inside uh, swoosh you could see they're totally different I don't know there's they're pretty pretty uh they're pretty crazy. Just the, the sheer amounts of uh, of different designs that they have on here. And then there's actually different insoles too. This was the eggnog one in here. And I'm not sure which one this is on this one. But um, just wildly, wildly creative. I know some people, it's like, what the heck? Like, why would they why would they make those things? They're so ugly. But I think that's kind of half the, uh, that's a half the point. So um what do you guys think about the model though? What do you guys think about the price hikes? Uh, I'm going to put the on foot section right here. I'm not really happy with the price hikes, but 
Uh, I do like the model, and I do actually, if you look at this, these two side by side, um, I actually really like the, uh, there's a little camera angle. I, I do like the uh, the sevens better than the sixes. I actually like the sixes quite a bit, uh, but seeing them side by side, I actually think that the sevens look better. I don't know why. Maybe it's, I think I like the model better. I've, I've liked the, the seven since the, the first look. The KD6s, it took me a long time to get used to before I was like, okay, actually, these aren't, aren't that bad. Um, anyway, that's, uh, that's pretty much the video. Hopefully you guys like the look, the on feet look, and, uh, we'll catch you guys for some more video review soon. I have a ton of content coming, so stay tuned and check back on the channel on a regular basis. Collectivekicks.com for any information. And if you're interested in, um, purchasing these, check the links in the description. Catch you guys later. Peace.